everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial so I'm going to be teaching you how to give someone a tan. Now, first things first is you're going to be needing your picture to work with. Now, if you've got a picture or you're just testing this out and you need to find one of this, uh, I found this one on Photo Exchange website and I'll give you a link to the website or this picture and you can just search, you know, for what you need. And now once you've got this picture or a picture like this or a picture that you're working with, um, we're going to put this into Photoshop. Now if you're new and you don't know how to do this, you go to File and Open and then select your image now wherever you saved it. And once it's into Photoshop itself, we're going to start work. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new blank layer. And you can do this by going to the bottom right hand side and selecting the new layer icon. And then we're going to go over to the left hand side and then select our colour. Now our colour is going to be a code, it's going to put in 714B34. Now once you put that in, click OK. It's that dark brown colour. Now we're just going to select a soft brush in the drop down menu at the top. And we're just going to paint over her skin. Like that. Now I'm just going to be very quick on this, um, not paying too much attention where you can because you're going to have a lot more time doing this than me. Like that. Just do her arms. Make sure that you don't go over the uh, clothes because we don't need them tanned. And last of the arm. Don't worry if you go too far over because we can correct that by going to the eraser tool after. Now once you've covered her skin, we're going to go over to the blending mode, which is the drop down menu, and we're going to go to soft light. Now that's pretty good as it is. Um, depending on your picture and the skin tone of the woman or guy, whatever you're doing, um, now this one here, she's kind of got a tan already, sort of, and we wanted to give her a bit more of a tan. Now if you're working with someone that is totally white, you might want to put another layer on top. Now the step I'm going to show you next is for people that are totally white and you're going to need to give her a bit more of a tan. Now if I put a bit more of a tan on this woman here, she's going to look like a cheesy what's it. So just bear with me and follow this step if you have someone that is totally white you're working on. So we're going to go and duplicate that layer, bring that down to the new layer icon and we're going to double click it and we're going to go to colour overlay, we're going to go to the drop down blending mode option and we're going to go soft light, change the colour to put in this code uh, DA9, DA9 46B like that and then click OK and then click OK again then you can bring down the opacity I'm going to bring it down to around 30% that should be OK now as you see it's gone around the edge right here and we need to correct that so if we turn that layer off and go to our eraser tool and we just go round her body like this and take out all of the other detail that we don't actually need then turn on that layer and then go back round like that Now if you want to do this, this is a good idea of doing this, uh, we're going to bring the eraser tool brush up a bit. Make sure you've got the opacity to 50% on the eraser tool and you can just take away a bit of the tan on her face line like that because people tend to have a lot more tan on their body than to their face so it looks a lot more authentic and a lot more real. So 
that's the tutorial right there. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just bear in mind what I said, depending on if you're working with uh, someone that is kind of already tanned to someone that is already white. As I said, you might just want to do one tan if someone's already tanned and two tans if someone's quite whitish in colour. Please uh, have fun with this and make it your own. And uh, please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.